Hi and welcome to our virtual act of worship to celebrate the start of another school year. Here we are in September with that school year stretching ahead of us with lots of challenges and adventures that we know will be going on but we don't quite know yet what will happen. I thought today that I would bring you to my local church. This is where I worship each week and it's in a very small village, a rural village in Essex. And as I was thinking today about the theme for this worship and thinking about journeys and not knowing what's going to happen, it made me think about a memorial plaque that we have in this local church. It's just on the wall over here. And our church, although very small and in this tiny village, is quite well known because it has this plaque for Captain Lawrence Oates. Now you may have heard of Captain Lawrence Oates. He was part of an expedition to the South Pole. And he went on this expedition at the turn of the 20th century. They were racing, the British team were racing against the Norwegian team to be the first to get to the South Pole. It was arduous, it was tough, they had very basic supplies when you consider what we have now to help us with those sorts of journeys. Unfortunately, they didn't get there first. They were second to the South Pole. They came in 35 days after the Norwegian team. And for the group that went, it got worse from that point onwards. Um, on the journey home, things started to go wrong and Captain Oates himself ended up with really bad frostbite. Uh, and he knew he wasn't gonna make it home. So he took a, a incredibly brave decision to step outside of the tent and there are some words that he's really well known for now he says I'm going outside and I may be some time and that's the last that his colleagues and friends in that tent ever hear from he steps out into the blizzard never to be seen again now I guess that's the ultimate self-sacrifice on a journey that was wrought with challenges and mishaps that they never expected to come. One of the things that struck me about this group of people who were stuck in the most challenging of circumstances is how they supported each other. And if you read the diary entries that others wrote during that really difficult period of time, you can see how they never ever gave up on Captain Oates. Even earlier on, a few days before he died, he was saying to them, go and leave me behind. And they wouldn't do it. They stuck by him in the hardest and most difficult of times. So as we think about that year ahead, we don't know what's coming. We don't know what challenges we're going to experience. We don't know the highs and lows that are there waiting for us. But we can spend some time thinking about that, reflecting on where are we going? What do we want to achieve this year? And who are the people that will be there around us supporting and helping when we need advice and encouragement? As we have our act of worship today, we'll be thinking more about that. There'll be time for you to join with worship. There'll be time for prayer. There'll be time for music. And we have a very special mes message from Bishop Gully, the Bishop of Chelmsford. So I wish you a wonderful school year ahead and no matter what comes, what challenges lie ahead, I know that you will tackle them with joy, determination and enthusiasm. Hello, my name is Bishop Gully and I'm the Bishop of Chelmsford. Being Bishop of Chelmsford means that I lead and support all the Church of England churches across Essex and East London. Many of our churches have schools or are linked to schools. Supporting teachers, students and staff of all faiths and none is a very important part of my ministry. I only started as Bishop of Chelmsford in April, so I'm new to this role. In fact, I feel like I'm at the start of a journey. I don't know where that journey is going to lead, but I'm excited about the possibilities and also a little nervous and apprehensive. In many ways, this reminds me of my own time at school and the start of a new year. A time of change, a time of new relationships, of new challenges and of new opportunities. 
I come originally from Iran, a country in the Middle East. And I remember in particular when I was 13 years old, I found myself unexpectedly in England as a refugee. Away from my home and my friends, I had to get used to a new country, a new culture and a new school. It felt a little scary, but there were also lots of new opportunities. So I hope that as you begin this new school year, you're also feeling positive about some of the new possibilities and opportunities that lie ahead of you. But I've no doubt that you will also have some reasons, perhaps, to feel apprehensive, particularly given the great anxiety and the uncertainties that have been caused by the pandemic. For some of you, it'll be a time of significant change, Perhaps you're starting at a new school or beginning an important GCSE or A-level year. But as you begin this next stage of your own personal journey, please be assured that both I and many in the Diocese of Chelmsford will be praying for you, for your teachers and for your school. Now we come to a time of reflection, and if you'd like to join me, a time of prayer. Take a moment to look at your shoes. They might be a new pair of school shoes, ready for the new start of term. They might be rubbing slightly as you're wearing them in. Or they might be an older pair that are comfortable like slippers. Or maybe you've got your trainers on today, ready for PE. They're flexible and have really grippy soles. Whatever shoes you have on, let's be thankful for all the places your shoes have walked today. From stepping out of your home, from walking to school, to meeting your friends, from walking to your lessons. Let's be thankful for our families, our friends and our teachers. Today, there are many refugees around the world who are traveling away from their homes and their families and their friends into unfamiliar countries. They may only have a single pair of shoes with them, worn and tired from all the traveling, perhaps with holes in them and leaky soles. In the Bible, we learn about how Jesus was a refugee himself, fleeing from his home with his family as a child for fear of persecution. We pray that today Jesus will bring comfort and peace to refugees all over the world. And finally, let's consider where our future journeys might take us this year. You might be settling into a new school, finding your way around and making new friends, or starting to think about which subject options to take. You might have exams or coursework to complete. Some of this can be challenging and it might cause anxiety and worry. However you're feeling about the journey ahead, just remember the words of Jesus. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Jesus will be traveling with you today, tomorrow, and for the many journeys that you have ahead of you. Amen.
The peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, rest upon you and all those whom you love, this day and always. Amen.